the most because, you know, he's the oldest and um, we had to go through this together. And um, it was tough on him because him not knowing what was going to happen. But uh, he's turned out to be a fine young man, a fine husband, a fine father. And he's blessed Cookie and I with two great, beautiful grandchildren. And Dre, you have uh, set the stage and raised the bar high for your brothers and sisters. So I say thank you for that. So my oldest son, Andre. Wow, Dr. Ho, we've done a lot in 20 years to become the face of this disease. You know, I've always been a leader my whole life. I don't, I don't, I've always led. I don't know how to do anything else. I never thought I had to lead in the HIV and AIDS community and be the face of a disease that is deadly, that could kill somebody. And when God said that this is how you're going to lead today, I didn't look back. I took it, and I'm happy that I've been the face of this disease. The only problem is um, I would be happier if the numbers in the black and brown community would go down. And I know I've been blessed because there's been millions and millions of people who have died since I announced 20 years ago. And so, this is a bittersweet day. Yes, I'm living, but people are still, even today as we speak, getting this virus. And so we must change the mindset and we must do a better job of educating those who live in urban America, both Latino and African Americans. So I dedicate my life to, to do that. I've been around the world talking about this disease and I will continue to do so. But at the same time, I'm happy that I'm here. I thank all of you for supporting me. A lot of you were right here when I announced 20 years ago. A lot of you were right there in my home after I announced or, be, <clears throat> or went on vacation with me and uh, have worked out with me, so I say thank you. And then last but not least, I have to thank the Laker family because Jerry West and I cried together on that day. He has been one of my best friends and a mentor. And I, I say thank you, Jerry. And uh, Mitch, it was tough, you and I. We had a, a, such a great relationship. And I say thank you for being there to support me as well. Uh, Kurt Rambo, who I just love to death. and. Uh, I uh, say thank you, um, thank Phil and Jeannie for coming. Jeannie and I grew up together in a sense with her father. And then last but not least, two of my best friends are going to come up here and ever in life like a father figure. And matter of fact, here come one of them now. Uh, and Pat Riley, I say thank you. And I'm supposed to do the check. Is that what happened? Well, why you didn't tell me? See, I, I jumped ahead, didn't I? I know. It's my press conference, so I guess I can do that. But before I go, this man here, I'll never forget that day in New York, what you did for me. You put the magic in Urban Johnson, I appreciate that. So, just thank you. And that's what I was trying to say before you came up. Dr. Buss, he was right there by my side. He's like a father figure to me. I want to thank him. Wow. And then last but not least, Tim Lightwicky, thank you for allowing us to do what we're doing here today. You've been a great friend, and I appreciate it. So thank everybody. It's been amazing 20 years. And hopefully we have another amazing coming. Thank you.